It, it's it's basically the best of all worlds. Okay, I'm, I'm living in uh, in Brazil on a tropical island in a two story penthouse. There's, it doesn't get cold here. Uh, there's 42 beaches on the island. There's three hot girls living here. We have on demand threesomes and foursomes and one on one variety. I have my own side rotation. I can do pickup with my chick. I can do pickup with wingmen. Everything is like, you know, this this was this was like my end goal in the game. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today's video is about my new living arrangement with three hot Brazilian girls. I'm going to go over how I orchestrated that, what my plans are, etc, etc, and all the details of how it works, okay? But before we continue, please subscribe below if you're not already a subscriber. Make sure you press the notification bell for new alerts of videos daily so you never miss a video. Okay, also, if you want to get very, very, very good at this game, I cannot stress enough. The results are really, really fucking crazy through this program. Best program in the industry, hands down. Nothing even compares. Guys are getting very consistently, very advanced in a short eight weeks Okay, through this program. There's a link in the description. Free 30-minute call. You'll speak with me personally. I'll show you how I can fast track you to a very advanced level very fast. Okay. So how did I orchestrate this living situation? Okay, For those of you that have been seeing a bunch of the videos on my channel, there is a hot Brazilian girl that I've been seeing out here. She's also very smart, very sweet, very cool, etc. Pretty much a full package girl for me. That is my official girlfriend out here. But we've had over 33 sums since May of last year, May of 2020, okay? But she is living here. There's a two-story penthouse. She's living in one of the rooms. She sleeps in my in my room, in my bed. But she's living in one of the rooms, and there's four bedrooms total. So we had two open bedrooms. So we were meeting girls, okay, through Cold Approach, through the threesome apps, through Tinder, etc. And we were seeing who was interested in moving in, okay? So we met these two girls uh, during New Year's that uh, basically happened to uh, really like this area, but we're living in a different area of Brazil. And so they wanted to move here, but they didn't have anywhere to live. Okay, so they're like new to the city. So we told them that, you know, basically we, we, we hung out with them. We had a foursome with them. It was really awesome. We all got along. Okay. And we're like, what do you think? What do you guys think about moving in here? And they were like, yeah, we'd be down. So I talked to my girl about it and we're going to try it. Okay. And let me go over the rules here. We, we posited a bunch of rules before they moved in. Hi guys, John Anthony here and John and Lifestyle Channel, right? Yes, we are here with my girlfriend in Brazil who is being ever so brave, showing her face on the camera. Okay, so here are the rules that we set forth with the girls that they agreed to before they moved in. Okay, um, so I'm the boyfriend of the girl who's on the channel, okay, who we call Baby. Um, so she's always a priority. This includes romantic dates, sleeping together, cuddling more with her, kissing more with her, taking more care of her stuff, etc. Like she gets most of it, you know, she gets the priority. Uh, no mess in the house, clean up after yourself. Um, now here's here's some funny ones. Uh, we told them I'm gonna have my own like side rotation. When like when my girls are at work, I can see chicks one on one, and when I have chicks over for one on one stuff, the two new roommate girls who are hot blondes. Uh, we'll just pretend like they're roommates, okay? I also said we're going to have our own side threesome shit, okay? So me and my girlfriend here, we're going to have, like, we have, like, nine or ten regulars. Now there's some new ones in the mix. Nine or ten re uh, regulars for threesomes. And I have a feeling it's going to turn to full-blown orgies because we're going to have girls over threesomes, and then we're going to be having so much fun, and we're going to say, hey, here's our roommates, and the girls are going to be like, wow, she's pretty. And then we'll say to our new girl, like, oh, these girls, like, actually are bi as well. And then it'll turn into five sums. Okay, so regular five sums. Well, it's cool. Before I continue, what's, what's fucking cool about this? This was like kind of my ultimate long-term goal in the game. Is to create like a, a Hugh Hefner type situation. Okay, without paying the girls. Okay, he's old. He's leveraging like money and fame. I'm leveraging value, cool experiences, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay, I will be upfront. The only thing that they are getting out of this from a monetary standpoint is they don't have to pay rent. Okay, but I was paying the rent anyways. And we just happen to have two open rooms. Okay, so it was like that was like the only incentive. And no, that's not like a sugar baby thing or like a fucking hooker thing or whatever before everyone fucking runs in. It's basically just it's making things easier for them. Like they were gonna have to work full time, put it this way. They're gonna have to work full time and they do like hair and makeup and all this shit. Right? They're just like 
One of them's 22, one of them's 29. Um, and by them not having to pay rent, they can be around the house more. Okay, I'm trying to get my chick to quit her job as well so that she can just be around the house more. Okay, um, so like basically, like so these chicks pay for all their own shit, like their own food, all this stuff. But since they don't have to pay the rent, they only have to work two days a week now. Okay, the rest of the time they're around the house. What does that mean? On-demand threesomes while my chick is at work. While my chick is home, on-demand foursomes. I can bang either of them one-on-one, -on -one, okay? It, it's very, very, very convenient. You don't have to like schedule rotation girls, etc. I can be doing other shit, go out there and rail them out in a threesome, and then go back to doing what I'm doing. And just a quick note about the girls. Uh, so I said they're both blonde. One has fake blue contacts, which a lot of the Brazilian girls have brown eyes. Actually, in, in Florianopolis, there's a bunch of lighter eyes because of the European influence. But fake blue contacts, fake tits, perfect body, pretty face. And then uh, the other one has like a juicy ass, like a nice ass, and tattoos. Okay, which it's, it's like a nice combo. And they're both really cool. They both really like me and, and my chick. And they're, they're like no drama, <clears throat> fun girls, etc. Um, let's see. So it's going back to the list here. Other girls will come over sometimes to be with me and my girl. When this happens, they are the priority. For example, like using the jacuzzi. We have a couple of jacuzzis in the house. Uh, in these situations, we will just say that you guys are our roommates unless the other girls want to join in. Um, don't make any... <laughs> Don't make any social media posts about all the stuff we're doing in the house because a, a word can get around and blah, 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 whatever. Um, my chick basically wants to keep a good reputation at work. Uh, no having sex with other guys. Um, what else? Oh, we said, uh, since none of us have tried this before, let's do a 30-day trial and evaluate how we all feel about everything that, at the end of the 30 days. If they're not happy or we're not happy on our end, we're going to stop. It's going very well so far. There was a, a little bit of growing pains in the beginning because like the first day they were here, my chick got back from work and the, and she's like, hey, how are you girls doing? They're like, we're really tired. We were like banging him all day long. <laughs> so my chick was like, you know, she was a little turned off by that, but it's all good. She's going to be the major priority, etc. cetera. Um, so yeah, this is, like, like going going through my, my goals in the game. And by the way, who the fuck is doing this? Okay, besides like Adam Lyons, who, who's, you know, one of the one of the girls is busted. Like the, the PUA coach, Adam Lyons, he apparently has like two wives and they're like raising a kid together. But one of the chicks is like decent and the other one's gross. All three of these girls are hot Brazilians with nice bodies. Our three, some rotation girls, most of them have really, really, really nice bodies, close to perfect. I've got a lot of good shit for one-on-one. -on -one. And my girl does pick up with me. And she actively helps set up threesomes from the threesome app. She'll cold approach. We cold approach like a girl that was close to a 10 in the grocery store yesterday. We were like late to meet a threesome girl, but we just did the approach anyway. My chick actually did the approach because the girl was like fully stacked, like super pretty face, like huge tits and ass, tight outfit. And my chick went in, the girl like blew right wide open. It was awesome, super receptive. And now she's like figuring out which day she can come over. Um, but it's it's basically the best of all worlds okay i'm, I'm living in uh in brazil on a tropical island in a two-story penthouse there's, it doesn't get cold here uh there's 42 beaches on the island there's three hot girls living here we have on-demand threesomes and foursomes and one-on-one -on -one variety i have my own side rotation i can do pickup with my chick i can do pickup with wingmen everything is like you know this this was this was like my end goal in the game that doesn't mean i'm like retiring or finished or anything like that far from it um, we're, we'll keep trying to, we'll see how this goes and, and, you know, tweak things accordingly. But I'm actually having, I have an assistant, I'm having him do research on like Hefner's rules because Hefner built a structure like this and he had all these rules for like the hierarchy of like my assistant's finding out, for instance, like the girlfriend always sleeps in Hefner's bed, right? And, and the other girls like try to win the attention of the girlfriend so that, she's in better favor with the guy, which is happening where I'm seeing these dynamics happen. Plus there's like massive pre-selection going on, right? Because I have three hot girls I'm living with who show me a lot of affection, etc. So when we have other girls over or just when I'm with my, my hot girlfriend, like when we have girls around, they see like, here's this hot girl that really likes this guy. It bypasses her value. The, the new girl's value approval circuitry. It bypasses her, 
uh, safety approval circuitry when we're pulling from clubs, et cetera. And my girl's super bubbly and sweet and good hearted and all that stuff. And the girls all just like think she's super amazing, like right off the bat. And we have like all these other new threesomes lined up as well. It, it, shit's just getting fucking totally nuts. Okay, this, this is probably the, the best point of, of my life that I've had, you know, from a sexual standpoint. And, I, and I've ran 15 girl rotations, 17 girl rotations, and, and lived in Kiev and, and Warsaw, Poland, and, you know, Puerto Rico, and Vegas, Miami, and San Diego, a lot of hot girl places. <clears throat> but I have all the nice stuff with a partner, plus all my own shit on the side, plus like a live-in shit for variety and, and like spicing things up or when my chicks aren't available. And I can still do pickup, right? So this is, rather than having to choose between like a monogamous relationship or being like a player, right? Or, or just going, or trying to straddle doing the rotation thing and having a main girl, you know, with not as much connection as you would with like a girlfriend. Again, these are all just labels and, and et cetera, whatever. But I just wanted to share with you guys, that's that's what's fucking going on here. Um, and we're just going to keep like adding to the magic. Like we like we had a barbecue this past weekend, all these hot girls were here. And we're just going to like keep bringing more girls into the fold, right? And, and just keep doing fun things, keep doing ventures. Once, once the corona stuff's a little better, me and my chick are going to travel all around the world and, and document a lot of our hookups and exploits on Instagram. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fucking awesome. And, and I will keep you guys posted with more updates. The, the two new girls do not speak English. They only speak Portuguese. Um, I think I said this already. One is 22, one's 29. My chick's 28. I am 37. But this was, this was kind of my longer term goal. I, I wasn't sure how many girls I wanted to live with at once. Um, so we'll test out with just three, see how that goes. We could potentially even move in one more because, you know, they're on the thumbnail. There's, uh, there's four girls total. We could potentially even move in a fourth girl because my chick isn't really sleeping in her room. So a girl could potentially sleep in there. But we will see. We'll, we'll see how this goes and, and I'll keep you guys posted. But I just want to make a video kind of giving you guys the update. And I'm sure RST Tyler and RST Todd and all these guys are, are doing quite similar things. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. If, if you have any interest in, in you know, banging over a thousand girls or having on-demand threesomes or building the rotation of your dreams or just getting regular closes one or two per week consistently and you want to get to that level very fast in a matter of one to two months do not delay free 30-minute call with me personally i'll go over how we can fast track you to a very advanced level very fast okay no one has any skills close to mine in this game no one has any experience close to mine in this game i am your best option for coaching that's a fact okay also, please subscribe below if you have not already. New videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern or, you know, around there. I'm trying to get the queue going so we can have consistent release times. But for now, they will come out whenever I fucking get a chance to make them. Okay, it's like total mayhem around here. So I'm like acclimating to this. Like, you know, it's basically just like a, a fuck fest all the time. So thank you guys. And uh, I will see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt, son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum